What's up everyone? It's your boy Norrenrad89 here bringing you another review today and for today's review we are going to be talking about Scream 2022 or 5 Cream as people online are calling it. Dang man this was a really good time. I caught this in theaters and this is going to be a non-spoiler review so don't worry about any spoilers but as of right now I can tell you easily in my opinion that I think this is the best since the original Scream so today we're going to get in depth of my positives my negatives and then we'll cap it off with my rating and I'll send you guys home. So Scream 2022 throws us into a new storyline of new cast members at Woodsboro and brings back the OGs you know with a new storyline involving the menacing ghost face. So let's get into my positives of what I did really enjoy about this film and my main positive is definitely the writing in this film and the pacing. I think it's very good at no time at this film was I bored and I think the writing is very smart, very witty, it flies off the page and I like that aspect of the film and it's a very self meta aware story and a lot of films are doing that nowadays and I think this one does a really good job. It's always been kind of a thing in the Scream franchise but as I said I think this one's elevated to a new level and it worked for me. Also the cinematography and lighting I think that wise is this is one of the best looking Scream films easily. They go a long way into making Ghostface look like a badass in this movie. The the shots, the way it looks, like I said, cinematography on point. Loved it. I also really enjoyed the theatrics of Ghostface. I think he does it. There's a really good, like, just theatrical moments with Ghostface, and the phone call sequences are some of my favorites since the first film. Very, you know, tense and emotional, and I like that aspect of the film as well. Like I said, it keeps you enthralled with the film, and that's some of the best moments of the movie for sure. We also have a good new cast, and balancing with that, we have the OG cast returning. And my favorites of the OG cast stands out as Dewey. David Arquette is usually my favorite, and he was my favorite of the original cast in this movie. And of the new cast, I had the best time with, I think, Tara was really cool. I really liked her character. Wes was another good character and a good homage to call back to Wes Craven and Mindy Meeks. I think those three were my favorites of the new cast that I had a good time with and I liked the actors and actresses they got to play those characters. So that definitely is a slam dunk for me and like I said it has a lot of good moments in this film and it's very self-aware and comical moments too that I don't think took away from the movie. It's very like I said self-aware comical and a slasher at the same time but I think they blend it the creators and writers blend it all very well and I wasn't bored like I said at any time with this movie so let's get into talking about my negatives because like I said this isn't a perfect scream movie there are some gripes I have with this movie so let's talk about what I did dislike about this movie and my standout main negative with this film is gonna be our main new main girl Sam like I oh man I just wasn't jiving with her on paper and the idea of her character when I think about it I really do love it I love the idea of her character but the portrayal that we got on screen I didn't enjoy that at all I didn't like the actress that they got to play her and like I said there's more cringy eye-rolling moments with her than there was like me being emotionally invested or anything like that I just didn't jive with her character like I said the idea of it on paper loved it but the portrayal on screen eh, was a little you know missed the mark for me. I also expected a bit more carnage candy and more blood in this film that is a minor gripe you know it does tip the line where it's like it's the typical scream kills that we usually get but it's almost borderline a new level of bloody goriness but I really did expect more carnage candy in this film but as I said that's kind of a minor gripe but another issue I had with the film is you really do have to suspend disbelief for a lot of moments in this movie you really have to sit back in your chair and tell yourself that this is a slasher movie and you have to you know tell yourself that because there's moments where you're like these characters are getting attacked in the most barren you know, hospital ever and there's nobody there or you're in broad daylight on the street and you know something's happening but uh, no one saw a damn thing you know what I mean so it's just certain moments like that it's just it bothers me and there's clumsy moments with Ghostface where you're like oh character right now step up you can do it you can kill him but those are those moments they are in this movie for sure and like I said you have to really sit back and tell yourself that this is a slasher and this is the or else we wouldn't have a movie that this is what has to happen in the movie to continue but overall in my book like I said in like I had the uh, I said in my intro if I could talk but like I said in my intro I did have the best time with this film since that original scream I really do think this one is a slam dunk it does a great job of introducing us to new characters 
and it has the OG characters, and it's very much a passing of the torch type film. We get a good theatrical ghost face, and I said the writing, like or like I said, the writing is very on point, and I had a better time with it and the characters than I did in three and four. You know what I mean? Those characters, I wasn't jiving with the characters in Scream three and four, but this new Scream. I could definitely get used to some of these new cast members. So I really did, like I said, had a blast with this film. In my book, Scream 2022 is going to get an 8 out of 10. I highly recommend checking this film out. I even think, even if you're not a hardcore Scream fan, I really think this film is going to entertain you. And especially being like a January film, because January is typically the month where we don't get any good movies at all. I think this film was definitely a really good film for sure. Like I said, I could see myself in the future returning to this one a lot and maybe some other characters will grow on me and I'll like some more or I'll dislike, my dislikes will grow a little bit more. You never know. So but right now, as of right now, I think the stand slam dunk, this is probably the second best since that first. Sticking around with me all, let me know in the comment section what you thought of the film. If you've seen the new Scream film, I would love to hear from all of you. And again, have a safe and happy Happy day, everyone. Peace out.